Well, hello and welcome to this English lesson about Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. There's my best Santa Claus impression for all of you. I hope that you have a little bit of time today. I know that Christmas is just around the corner but I thought I would squeeze one more lesson in before Christmas uh, and I thought the best topic would be Christmas. Um, there are a lot of words and phrases that we use in English when we're talking about Christmas. So, in this lesson, I'll talk about a lot of them. I have my Christmas Santa hat on. I don't know how long I'll wear this for because it's quite warm. I'm wearing my sweater and my hat and the house is getting warm and it's quite nice here but I think I might overheat if I leave the hat on for too long but I thought I would wear it for just a bit. So, again, welcome to this English lesson about Christmas. Uh, I hope that you really enjoy it. So, you'll see here I have red and green as the first two words. The colors of Christmas are definitely red and green. You will see silver and gold as well but generally when you see things that are decorated for Christmas, you will see a lot of red and green. It is a very common thing to see uh, when you drive around town, when you go to the mall. And that reminds me of what I was going to mention about this lesson. There is um, a couple of ways to talk about Christmas. Christmas is a religious holiday for many people but it's also what we would call a secular holiday or non-religious holiday. This English lesson will focus on the non-religious aspects of the Christmas season. So, I could do another whole lesson on the religious background and the religious significance of Christmas but this lesson just so you know is about what you'll see when you go out in the city, what you see when you go out in the town uh, and the things that most people in countries where Christmas is celebrated will be doing. But definitely red and green. You can see my hat is red because it's one of the colors of Christmas. Um so, Merry Christmas is the most common greeting. If you watched my video from earlier this week, I talked about how in Canada, we say Merry Christmas. In the United States, we say Merry Christmas. In other English speaking countries, you might hear Happy Christmas but generally here, you will hear Merry Christmas. When people greet each other around this time of year, they'll say Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Um you'll also hear season's greetings but you'll hear this more like in a TV commercial um, where a company says season's greetings from Canadian Tire. That's one of the stores in Canada. Um, or you might see it on a Christmas card or a greeting card, season's greetings. Um, it's just a different way to, to say it. Again, we mostly say Merry Christmas to each other. If I meet my brother tomorrow, um, I'll say Merry Christmas to my brother. But on a TV commercial or in an advertisement or on a Christmas card, you might see seasons greetings. And you might also see happy holidays. So, happy holidays is another way to basically say Merry Christmas to someone. Oh, I'm drinking water. I should be drinking eggnog. Eggnog is a funny drink made with cream and eggs and milk and some spices. I don't actually like it but a lot of people drink eggnog around this time of year. So, um by the way, I did do a Christmas lesson a couple of years ago. This lesson has some of the same words in it and phrases but I added probably another 20. So, you'll see that some uh slides might look familiar and some uh might be new to you. Christmas movie. There is a tradition uh to make movies that are made for Christmas. Um a typical Christmas movie would be something like Elf starring Will Ferrell. This movie was made a few years ago but it has become a popular Christmas movie. When you turn the television on right now and you flick through the channels, that's how we talk about it. You flick through the channels. You will most likely see different Christmas movies playing around this time of year. Very, very common. So, a Christmas movie is a movie that's made about Christmas. It usually takes place at Christmas or in the days leading up to it. Uh I see Eugene saying Home Alone. That's another Christmas movie for sure. Um and then on TV, you might see what's called a Christmas special or a TV special. One of the most common ones is a Charlie Brown Christmas. This is uh, a cartoon obviously about the Christmas season. Again, when you flick through the channels right now, you will probably be able to find this uh playing on one of the TV stations. A Charlie Brown Christmas. So, a Christmas movie is obviously a movie about Christmas. 
A Christmas special is a TV show about Christmas. You might even go to a Christmas program. Now, there haven't been a lot of Christmas programs last year or this year because of the the pandemic which keeps going but a Christmas program is usually held at a school. It might be at a community center. A Christmas program is where children learn a lot of Christmas songs or they might learn a play, a Christmas play and then as parents and relatives, you might go to a Christmas program and you'll listen to the music and you'll enjoy the play. So, but very, very common uh, especially for little children to be in a Christmas program. Very, very uh, cool and fun thing to go to. Notice a lot of them are dressed wearing red which again is a color that you see a lot at Christmas. And this entire time of year is called Christmas time. So, I think I often use the phrase around Christmas time. I'm going to see my family around Christmas time. Um, oh, I eat too much at Christmas time. So, it doesn't refer to just Christmas day. It refers to kind of a day or two before Christmas and a day or two after. Um, so, Christmas time is just a general way to refer to this time of year. So, I'm doing a live stream about Christmas at Christmas time. Festive would be a really good word to describe this time of year. Um, it is a time of year where when you go to do some shopping, there's Christmas music playing. Uh, you might see people start to dress using red and green. You might see a lot of people going to events like Christmas parades. It's a time of year where when I say festive, it means everything is connected to Christmas in some way um, and it just makes you feel really, really happy. It's definitely a happy time of year uh, for many, many people. There's something that has started recently called the ugly Christmas sweater tradition. Um, this is something I'm not sure when it started. I think maybe if uh, Brent's still here from American English, he can fill us in. Um, but even at work, we had a day where everyone was supposed to wear an ugly Christmas sweater. So, not a Christmas sweater that's nice to look at. A Christmas sweater that isn't very nice. I actually like this sweater but it would count as an ugly Christmas sweater. And I hope you know what ugly means. So, someone can be beautiful and if they're the opposite, we would say they're ugly. Um, it's not a nice word but an ugly Christmas sweater is a sweater you buy because it's not very nice looking and you wear it usually once a year when you have a day at work or maybe at a school where you all wear your ugly Christmas sweater. So, I mentioned this in my video earlier this week. I did a short video about Christmas. A Christmas bonus is something you get from your boss. It's something you get at work um, because you've done a good job for the year and if the company or business is doing well, you might get a Christmas bonus. I get a small gift card to a local restaurant. Uh, Brent mentioned to me, Brent from American English with this guy mentioned to me earlier this week. Uh, he, I think he used the phrase, I don't get squat which means he doesn't get anything as a Christmas bonus. So, I feel bad. Um, I'll thank Brent for all his work as a teacher. That's his Christmas bonus from me this year but uh, different places of work give out different Christmas bonuses. Uh, Brent says, I have no idea when the ugly Christmas sweater started. Maybe with the movie National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Possibly. Yes, yeah, sometimes weird traditions start because of movies that we've watched. Uh, I also mentioned in my video earlier this week, there's something called an office Christmas party or a work Christmas party or you might just say, I have a Christmas party at work this week. This usually happens well in advance of Christmas. So, a week or two before Christmas. You might go to work at night for a Christmas party. If you're lucky, work might end early one day and then you'll spend the last two hours at work getting paid and you're at the office Christmas party. But it's certainly something that um, is quite common in North America to have a work Christmas party or an office Christmas party. And now we get into some of the more familiar things. Many people will put up a Christmas tree. They will decorate their Christmas tree. Traditionally, a Christmas tree goes up a week or two before Christmas or even <laughs> earlier. We put our Christmas tree up at the beginning of December. We decorate our tree with ornaments and lights 
and ribbon and we put a star at the very top. Um actually, I think we have an angel at the very top of ours. There's two different things that can go on the top of a tree. It's usually a star or an angel. I have to go look. I can't remember what's at the top of our tree. Usually, you put a blanket under the tree. Uh especially if it's a tree that you got from outside because needles will fall. Uh and then on that blanket, you will put gifts and then usually people open their gifts Christmas morning. Some people open gifts Christmas Eve. Some people open gifts a few days before Christmas because that's when they can get their family together. And as I mentioned, uh on the Christmas tree, we usually put ornaments or decorations. You can use either word. You can see here, there are a lot of ornaments hanging from the tree. Stockings. So, Christmas gifts go under the tree. Stockings are things that look like socks but they're actually way bigger and usually people hang these sometimes by a fireplace, sometimes just on a wall and a lot of times you will put small little gifts inside of stockings. So, with our family, we give each of our kids a stocking for Christmas as well. They get some gifts and a stocking. The stocking has inside of it things we would call stocking stuffers. Let me find that. A stocking stuffer is any kind of small gift that fits inside of that big sock looking thing. So, uh we buy little chocolates, little toys and those kinds of things to put in our kids' stockings. So, people sometimes hang them by a fireplace but not many homes have fireplaces anymore. It's pretty rare. Christmas presents are probably the thing children talk about the most at Christmas. What do you think you're going to get for Christmas? Um do you, your parents give you nice gifts and then when they go back to school, did you get a nice Christmas present? Children usually get Christmas presents. Adults sometimes exchange presents but not not always. Like my brothers and sisters and I, we don't give each other presents anymore. Uh we get together, we enjoy each other's company but we don't buy each other's pre- each other presents. Um we do buy like the nephews and nieces and kids in the family get presents from everyone but uh some adults still exchange gifts but we don't. Uh we just give gifts to our kids. Notice I'm using the word gifts and the word presents. Christmas gifts, Christmas presents, those are both the same thing. You wrap a gift in wrapping paper. You might wrap a gift in newspaper. You might wrap a gift in just brown paper but generally people will buy special paper that has obviously a lot of red and green (laughs) on it and they use that to wrap their gifts. So, um some people tell their kids that the gifts come from Santa. In our family, we never really did that um but Jen and I will wrap the gifts uh a day or two before Christmas uh and if I'm being honest, Jen has wrapped 97% of the gifts in my life for our kids. I think I've wrapped maybe four of them. So, I should just be honest and say Jen does all the gift wrapping. Jen and I buy wrapping paper and then Jen wraps all the gifts. Uh sometimes the gift will have a bow on the top. It's not super common but it does make the Christmas gift or Christmas present look really cool if it has a bow on the top. The bow is that um I'm trying to point to it. The bow is that uh thing on the top where all of the ribbon is tied together to make a really nice bow on the top. Stocking stuffer we talked about. A uh, stocking stuffer is a small gift uh that you put inside of a stocking. Uh pretty common for kids to enjoy opening their stocking to find little things like chocolates and small toys and all kinds of things that will fit inside of a stocking. And then there's uh sometimes people will put up a wreath. This is Jen by the way. For those of you that have not met my wife, Jen makes wreaths every year. Uh this picture is actually from a couple years ago. Uh this is a wreath that Jen made. Many people will put a wreath on the outside door of their house at the beginning of December, maybe even the end of November. A wreath is made with a lot of local greenery. So, we put cedar and spruce and pine and other types of things in the wreath and then people will hang it outside. Sometimes people will hang a wreath inside but it tends to dry out. So, usually you will see a wreath, especially one 
that's made from real trees. It will be hung outside on the door. But yes, this is Jen if you wanna say hi. Sometimes people will have an urn outside the front of their house. They will have a Christmas urn. This picture is from Eugene. So, I woke up this morning and Eugene had sent me a bunch of pictures. Uh, so, thank you very much for that, Eugene. And I picked out I think three or four of them, Eugene. Um, I even have one at the end of what I think is a Christmas gift Eugene bought for himself. So, stick around for that. But an urn is a large pot and you can see it has a lot of Christmas greenery or green things put into it to kind of celebrate the Christmas season. A lot of times, people will have one or two Christmas urns outside their front door. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, thanks for the photo again, Eugene. Christmas lights. So, Christmas lights go on Christmas trees. People put Christmas lights on houses. People put Christmas lights on trees outside their house. Christmas lights are sometimes all white but sometimes they're multicolor. A lot of different colors. You could even buy strings that are red and green. So, you have two different of the Christmas colors. Um hey, thanks Alberto uh for joining and becoming a member. That's awesome of you. Uh but Christmas lights you will find all over. It's kind of fun to drive around uh your local town and to see who has put up a lot of Christmas lights uh on the trees in their yard on the front of their house. But just another way um to celebrate this festive time of year. You will certainly go to at least one Christmas dinner. Uh maybe two, maybe three. It depends on how big your family is and how many dinners are planned. We usually end up having three Christmas dinners. We eat Christmas dinner here at our house and we have Christmas dinner with my family. So, that would be my brothers and sisters and then we have Christmas dinner with Jen's family. Again, this year it might be a little different because gatherings are limited to 10 people. So, we'll see um, how it all works out in the end. De- generally, a Christmas dinner is a hot meal and usually you have turkey, sometimes ham as the meat uh, and then other things besides that. You might go to a Christmas parade. Now, in one of my previous videos about Christmas, I was actually at a parade. Uh, this is a parade in one of our local towns. A parade is when people build things called floats which is kind of like a movable stage and they decorate it with a lot of Christmas lights. You can actually see Santa on this float. This would be the last float in the parade Uh, but a parade is a fun thing to go to. Because of COVID, there's been a lot of reverse parades this year where they have all the floats lined up and you drive past in your car. So, instead of the parade going by you while you stand on the street and cheer and wave, the parade is parked in a parking lot and you drive through the parade. Um just an interesting way to have a parade I guess in a really really safe way. You might get a Christmas card at Christmas. You might get more than one Christmas card. We sometimes call these greeting cards as well. Um I know that we have a string in our kitchen most years and as we get Christmas cards, we hang those up. I actually got a Christmas card from Miroslav. Thank you very much if you're watching Miroslav for the Christmas card. Uh Miroslav is one of my probably one of my oldest viewers from four years ago and uh he has been very very encouraging to me in my journey here on YouTube. So, thanks for the card. Uh but a Christmas card is a small piece of paper card. Usually, you can see again a lot of red and green, some gold and silver. And inside, people will write, you know, Merry Christmas uh, and Happy New Year, wishing you all the best this holiday season or something like that. Christmas Eve is tonight. If you're watching this live right now, today is December 24th. So, we call this Christmas Eve day. That's not a real English phrase, I don't think. It's just what Jen and I say. But tonight is Christmas Eve. It is the night before Christmas. So, Christmas Eve um happens on December 24th. Uh a lot of times people will get together with their family, maybe watch a movie, maybe play some games and then usually uh on Christmas day or Christmas morning, people will get up and open gifts. Again, traditions vary. Some people open gifts um a day or two before Christmas. Some people open gifts after Christmas but most people will probably open gifts either today They might open gifts on Christmas Eve 
or they'll open gifts on Christmas day or Christmas morning. Uh thanks Fabian for the super chat. That's awesome of you. You will hear a lot of Christmas music. I have Natalia here saying, Merry Christmas, Bob. All the best and I love the emojis, Natalia. Thank you very much. Uh Merry Christmas to you as well. Um you will hear a lot of Christmas music at this time of year. There are some radio stations that start playing Christmas music on December 1st. Um I like Christmas music but not that much. <laughs> um but uh Christmas music would be different kinds of songs that have been made for Christmas. You can see this mug says, all I want for Christmas is you. Kind of a famous Christmas song uh, that you'll hear on the radio. Caroling is an activity that people do at Christmas and it's a little bit strange. People who like to sing will practice a Christmas song with someone usually called a Christmas carol. That's another word for an old Christmas song um and then they will go caroling. They will go out on an evening like tonight and they'll go from house to house, knock on the door and when the person opens the door, they'll sing a Christmas carol. They'll sing a Christmas song. Um it's a really cool tradition. Um I've never gone caroling. I'm not a very good singer. So, I have not ever done that. Uh Santa Claus. Let's talk about Santa Claus. Santa Claus is not real. Some people tell their children Santa Claus is real. And they tell their children that Santa Claus comes on Christmas Eve and lands on the roof of the house with his sleigh and his reindeer and then comes down the chimney and puts presents under the tree. A lot of times kids will leave out milk and cookies for Santa Claus. Um but Santa Claus, hopefully no children are watching. Santa Claus isn't real. Just so you know, Santa Claus isn't real. It's just a story that parents make up to tell their children. Hopefully, no one under the age of 12 is watching and is now disappointed <laughs> but we'll see. Uh one of the words to describe Santa is jolly. Jolly is a word used to describe like Santa says ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. He's kind of big. I don't wanna be disrespectful of Santa's size but he's kind of a big man. He has chubby cheeks and a beard and he's very happy and jolly. So, jolly is another word for happy usually used to refer to people who kind of look like Santa. This is a Santa hat. This dog is wearing a Santa hat. If we go back and look at Santa, you can see Santa has this type of hat. It's fairly common around this time of year to see people especially if it's really cold, they might wear a Santa hat for fun. Um if you go to a Christmas party, you might wear a Santa hat at the Christmas party. It usually has a white ball on the end and it's red and it's very very warm by the way. It's definitely uh would work as a winter hat for sure. <laughs> I see Ruslan in the chat saying, what? Santa does not exist? Sorry, Ruslan to, to let you know that. Um let's see. Freddie says, I bet that you'll be able to keep your Santa hat until the end of the live stream. Won't you? Won't you? <laughs> if I if I lose, I won't have a yeah. I'm gonna keep it on for the rest. Um Santa apparently, if you believe in Santa, has a list of names and there's a naughty list and a nice list and there's one Christmas song where it says Santa's kind of watching to see if you're naughty or nice all year and if you're on the naughty list, it means you've been bad. It means you've not been a very nice person that year uh, and you probably won't get a nice gift from Santa. In fact, the story is if you're naughty, you'll get a lump of coal as a gift but if you're on the nice list, you'll get something nice for Christmas. So, Santa, I know I said he doesn't exist but if he did exist, he has a workshop where he makes toys and the elves are these little people who help Santa make toys. When you watch a Christmas movie, especially one made for kids, there will often be elves in the Christmas movie. So, elves are little um little people I guess you would say. Um if you watch the movie Elf, Will Ferrell plays an elf who's actually super tall which makes the movie extra funny. Santa lives at a place called the North Pole. The North Pole looks like this. It looks a little bit like a candy cane and it's at the very very top of the planet Earth. Um this picture again is from Eugene. Thanks Eugene for the photo. Um you can see here there is a reindeer with a red nose. This would be Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. Another character you see at Christmas time and he is standing 
by the North Pole. So, as the story goes, Santa and his elves and reindeer live at the North Pole. They live at the very top of the planet Earth. And on Christmas Eve, Santa gets in his sleigh and hooks up his reindeer and then flies through the air and delivers gifts to all the children. Again, sorry to break it to you but Santa isn't real. It's just a really fun story uh for the Christmas season. Where are we here? So, I find this is an interesting thing. The plant that most people buy in North America around Christmas time is the poinsettia. The poinsettia looks like this. It is originally I think from the southern United States or from Mexico. Don't quote me on that though. This isn't a science lesson but it is a plant that we often have in our homes because it's red and green. So, back to the beginning of the lesson, we talked about red and green being common colors at Christmas. So, I think because the poinsettia is red and green, it is a very common plant for people to have in their homes. We almost always have a poinsettia in our house around Christmas. This year, we happen, we don't happen to have one but um it is just a very common house plant to buy for the Christmas season. And then, I mentioned this in my lesson earlier this week, my short lesson. Um everyone would love to have a white Christmas. A white Christmas is when you live in a northern part of the uh hemisphere. Uh you live in in the northern hemisphere in a place that usually gets snow and you hope that on December 25th, you hope that on Christmas day, you wake up and see snow on the ground and we would call that a white Christmas. We are probably not going to have a white Christmas. It's supposed to be raining and three degrees tomorrow. So, the chance of a white Christmas is pretty pretty low. Sometimes at Christmas, you buy yourself a gift. So, Christmas isn't always about buying other people gifts. Sometimes, you buy yourself a gift. This is Eugene's Jeep and uh, I think Eugene put a new bumper on the front of his Jeep and I think that might have been Eugene's Christmas present to himself. If you don't know who Eugene is, he's in the chat. He just said Santa Claus watching in North America. Uh but Eugene sometimes sends me photos to help with the lessons. This is a photo of Eugene's Jeep and a week ago, I think a week or two ago, he said he was putting a new bumper. The bumper is the front part of the Jeep. So, this would be a good example of someone buying a gift for themselves. You can buy a gift for yourself at Christmas too and it's a very common thing to do. And this is the last picture from Eugene uh and it is not about Christmas but it's a good way to end this lesson. When the year ends, we say happy new year to each other. During the time between Christmas and New Year's Eve, people will often say to each other, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Even though the new year hasn't started yet, they'll still say happy new year um because they're not sure they'll see that person again before the new year comes. So, very common uh for people to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year when you see them around this time of the year. 